we are now at our quarter two module one in science seven amazing my dear students welcome back to our new science visual lesson once again this is your science teacher teacher larry and welcome to a new day of amazing way of learning the branch of science that deals with the study of life is known as biology one of the significant invention which helps the scientists to extend the limits of their human senses is microscope with the help of microscope we are able to understand life even better in this video lesson you will learn all about microscope specifically its parts and their function at the end of this video you will be able to identify the different parts of microscope and their functions are you ready to learn let us begin a microscope is a tool that is used to see organisms or objects that are too small to be seen by naked eye this tool makes small objects look bigger some of the tiny objects or organisms that can be seen using a microscope are the following we have the plant cell the animal cell and microorganisms such as bacteria and virus the different strains of virus such as the coronavirus can be seen using a microscope scientists are using a microscope in understanding the structure of coronavirus to develop a vaccine that help us fight against coronavirus 2019 or covid 19 the science of investigating very tiny organisms and small objects using a microscope is called microscopy. To understand how microscope works, we need to be familiar with two terminologies, the magnification and the resolution. When we say magnification, it describes how much larger an object appears when viewed. Observe the structure of an onion cell viewed under a microscope into low power objective. As you can see, it is small. When we want to see it better, we can increase its magnification or change it to a high power objective. You can see that the structure looks bigger and that is the magnification or the magnifying power of the microscope. When we say resolution, it is the capacity of a microscope to distinguish small gaps between two separate points which humans cannot distinguish. It is used to see the finer details of an object. Which of the following picture has a higher resolution? Is it picture A or picture B? Yes, it is picture B. Picture B has a high resolution because more details of onion cell is visible. To summarize, these two terminologies, when we say magnification, it describes on how large is the image and the resolution describes as the amount of information that can be seen in the image. There are several kinds of microscope, but the most common microscope used in school laboratories is the compound microscope. What is a compound microscope? A compound microscope, it is an optical microscope that uses visible light to form an image. It uses glass lenses to magnify and resolve images. But why is it called a compound microscope? This type of microscope is called a compound microscope because it uses two or more double convex lenses to magnify the object. These two lenses can be found on the eyepiece and the objectives of the microscope. A 
compound microscope comprises of three major parts based on their functions. These are magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. Let us talk first about the magnifying parts of a compound microscope. The magnifying parts makes a specimen looks bigger. The specimen is the object or part of an object or an organism that we study or examine under a microscope. The first magnifying part of a compound microscope is the eyepiece, also known as the ocular lens. These are the lens located at the top of microscope. This is where the viewer looks and sees the magnified image of the specimen. Its standard magnification is 10 times. The second magnifying part of a compound microscope are the objective lenses. Just like the ocular lens, their main job is to magnify the specimen under observation. These are the major lenses used for the specimen visualization or magnification. Most compound microscope has three objective lenses. The typical objective lenses are the following. Low power objective has a magnification power of 10 times. It is used to see the general outline of the specimen. Next is the high power objective. It has a magnification power of 40 times. It is used to view structure from a larger perspective. And the last one is the oil immersion objective. It has a magnification power of 100 times. It is usually the longest objective and uses to view bacteria, protists, and fungi. It requires the use of special oil. Let us now proceed with the illuminating parts of the microscope. The word illuminate means to give light. Therefore, these are the parts of the microscope that supply and regulate the light towards the specimen. The first illuminating part is the mirror. The function of the mirror is to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage, which illuminates the specimen. The light source can be the natural light from a sun and artificial light from a lamp. In other microscope, an illuminator is used in place of a mirror. The second is the iris diaphragm. It is located under the stage. It controls the amount of light that reaches the specimen. This is important because it provides enough light in viewing the specimen. Next is the condenser. It is located under the stage. This part collects and focuses the light from the mirror to the specimen. Let us now explore the mechanical parts of the microscope. These parts are used for support and in adjusting the different parts of the microscope. Body tube or the draw tube. This part holds the eyepiece lens and connects it to the objective. Next is the revolving nose piece. This part holds the different objective lens and facilitates the changing of objectives. This part that you turn and change the objective lens that you want to use. The next part are the adjusting knobs. They are used to focus the microscope. It moves the body tube and objectives closer or farther away from the stage. There are two types of adjusting knobs in a microscope. The bigger adjusting knob is the coarse adjustment knob. This knob produces a large vertical movement of the body tube with only a partial revolution of the knob. On the other hand, the smaller adjusting knob is called the fine adjustment knob. It is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus to show clearly detailed parts of the specimen. This knob moves the body tube slower or shorter in terms of distance than the coarse adjustment knob. The next is a stage. It is a flat surface where the mounted slide or specimen is placed. A slide is where the specimen 
place for observation. A stage has a stage clips. A stage clips hold the specimen slide in place. The next part is the arm. This supports the tube and it is where we use to carry the microscope. Next is the base. This serve as the support of the full microscope. The arm and the base is connected by the inclination joint. This allow the user to tilt the microscope for more comfortable viewing. However, you must only tilt the microscope when you are working with dry specimen. Tilting the microscope with liquid specimen can cause water or liquid to spill and flow into the metal parts. This can cause rusting which can damage the microscope. And those are the different parts of the microscope and their specific function. To test your understanding on the different parts of the microscope, try to label the parts of the microscope.